Hi, it's my favorite time of day, the time of day when I get to read a good book to you. Today we're going to read Dozens of Donuts by Carrie Finnison and Brianne Farley. And this is a good math book that is fun. To, it's fun to learn about math through books. I like to do that in my classroom and I hope you like that too. Early one morning as autumn leaves scatter, Luann's busy stirring a big bowl of batter. She'll eat some sweet treats, then warm and well-fed, she'll sleep away winter, tucked tight in her bed. Because that's what bears do, right? Sleep away the winter. They don't really live in a house, but they go in their den to hibernate. One dozen donuts hot from the pan, toasty and tasty and all four Ding dong. Hmm, how many is one dozen donuts? Do you know how many a dozen is? That's right, a dozen is 12. So she has 12 donuts. Four, three, so that's seven. Two more, nine, 10, 11, 12. Woodrow? Do you have enough for a neighbor to share? Sure, says Luann, and she pulls up a chair. That's nice, she's gonna share. One dozen donuts hot from the pan. Half are for Woodrow, the rest for ding dong. Uh-oh, so they split them in half to share them. So how many does each person get? That's right, each person gets six, because if you have 12 and you divide it between two people, each person is gonna get six because 12 divided by two is six. You can also think of it as six plus six is 12 or two groups of six is 12. Wonder who's at the door. Clyde? Luann, feeling generous, offers her plateful. Donuts, my favorite, says Clyde. I'm so grateful. You're welcome, dig in, I'll make more, says Luann. She measures and mixes as fast as she can. One dozen donuts hot from the pan, a few for her friends and the rest for ding dong. So here they each have four donuts. Do you see that? One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. So we have four donuts for each one of them because three groups of four is 12. Or you could say 12 divided into three piles is four donuts in each pile. Wonder who's at the door now. Topsy? I smelled something good, can I hang for a while? Luann says, come in, but she's lost her big smile. Delicious, cries Topsy, she gulps down a swallow. Luann's heart feels warm, but her belly feels hollow. One dozen donuts hot from the pan, some for each friend and the rest for ding dong. Uh-oh. So now we have four friends here. And when we have four friends, each friend gets how many donuts? That's right, they each have three donuts because four groups of three is 12 or 12 divided by four friends will be three for each friend. Mouffette? Mouffette is so shy that she hides in a shrub. Luann heaves a sigh and says, come join the club. While her guests eat the donuts, Luann starts to worry. She cracks her last egg and pours milk in a hurry. Look what a mess the kitchen is. She's been baking all day. The last dozen donuts hot from the pan, a pair for each friend means there's more for ding dong. Uh-oh. Chip and chomp? It sounds like a party. They both scamper in. They fill up their cheeks. Now let winter begin. Woodrow pours cider, they all raise a toast, but Luann is fed up with her job as their host. Do you see how they wrote fed up in all capitals? That tells you to say, Luann is fed up with her job as their host. 
She's ready to sleep through the snow, ice, and sleet, but winter is near and there's nothing to eat. Deep in her throat, there's a low, hungry grumble. It slowly grows louder. Her friends hear the rumble. One look at Luann and they dash for the door. After all, she's a bear and she's ready to roar. She fusses and flails and then slowly grows still. Snowflakes drift down. All is quiet until ding dong. Peeking outside, Luann blinks in surprise. Her friends have come back and they all brought supplies. We counted the donuts you made us so many and that's when we noticed you didn't get any. We're sorry, Luann. That's nice. Topsy ties aprons, they prop Luann's feet. Chip measures, chomp mixes, Mufet checks the heat. Dozens of donuts, hot from the pans, stacked up in heaps, and they're all for Luann. But her friends have made more than enough for one bear. She has plenty to eat, and she's happy to share. And that's the end. I hope you like this book about multiplying and dividing, doubling. All right, I will see you next time. Bye, Owen.